This week on Machinery PTV, some classic green is in ring one of this online Sullivan auction. A 1969 40 20 is in the middle of all the action. We'll get a close look at a pair of experimental internationals. And Pete has some examples of a smoking hot used tractor market. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at TheTireGrabber.com. Hey, thanks for checking out Machinery Repeat TV this week, folks. We appreciate your time. And I tell you what, we have a double treat today. First off, we're going to visit with my good friend Dan Sullivan with Sullivan Auctioneers. Always great fun to talk tractors with Dan. And today we're actually going to watch uh, during their sale, their huge farmer dealer absolute auction uh, online sale. And we've got three John Deere tractors from three different decades. I think these all could be hot sellers. A restored 1969 John Deere 4020, a 1990 4455. Of course, 4455s tend to be hot all the time. And then a 2008 John Deere 7730. So of course, pre-def, pre-tier four, they've been really hot the last year and a half. But before we see how hot those three John Deere tractors are, we gotta go back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. Thanks, Pete. I'm Michelle Ruck in for Clinton this week. After making tremendous progress last week, all eyes were on this week's planting progress report to see if farmers could continue to get a crop in ahead of more planting deadlines. And now they've almost caught up to the average. USDA reporting 86% of the corn crop is now planted. That's up 14% from last week and just 1% behind the five-year average. North Dakota farmers pressing on. Now 56% planted, up 36% from last week. And Minnesota is now at 82%. Checking soybeans, 66% of the crop is now in the ground. That's up 16% from last week and also just 1% behind the five-year average. However, just 23% of the crop is planted in North Dakota. 55% is now planted in Minnesota. Gas prices hitting another record high midweek with the national average jumping another five cents. The new highest all-time record hit $4.67 a gallon. The soaring prices are led in part by strong demand as people ramp up travel plans and a sluggish supply. Meanwhile, diesel prices are down four cents from their record highs set in the middle of last month, averaging now $5.53 a gallon. Market watchers tell us diesel prices could see price relief in the coming weeks. They say diesel refineries in the Midwest are coming out of maintenance season and ramping up production. Let's check on some auction prices from around the country. Now back to our host, Repeat. Well, the average auction price on a John Deere 4455 tractor this year, folks, is up 37.2% compared to two years ago. Now, stick around. We're going to watch a really nice 1990 model sell 6,156 hours on it. Well, Dan, let's take a look at a beautiful loader tractor on the auction here, a 2008 John Deere 7730, only 599 hours on it, selling with a 746 loader. What a nice looking rig here. It's a nice tractor, uh, Pete, and, uh, and, and with the traffic through here the last couple of days, as there always is, right before the auction, 
there was a lot of uh, interest in that. A lot of people stopping and asking questions about it, you know, the low hours. To find a loader tractor, you know, with, with that low of hours is, is kind of unheard of because everybody uses loader tractors every day. And right. the, that thing's sweet. It's, uh, you know, been and had the best care and uh, the documents to go with it. Just a really nice tractor. Yeah, as I was looking at your, uh, at the sale list here, and by the way, how, there were like 3,000 uh, items on the auction. Uh, yeah, it was one of the biggest uh, August sales that we've had. And stuff come from all over the country. And now with it being online, you know, there's only, there's a lot of items that are at uh, off sites at other states and other locations. So it's just opened up kind of a whole new uh, market out there to uh, to be able to, to put this many items out there for sale and, and a record amount of bidders. So it's it kind of the stars are lining up for a really good sale here. Yeah. And it uh, as I was looking through the equipment list, Dan, this tractor in particular caught my eye just because what I've been seeing uh, through the summer into the early fall, just the uh, the interest in the, the rising prices on nice condition, low hour loader tractors like this. And again, uh, about 600 hours here um, what have you been seeing with uh, demand for low, good, good condition loader tractors here in 2021? Well, just to, to echo the same thing you're saying, Pete, it, it's, uh, you know, you go, go, go online, go to Machine Repeat and try to find, you know, a tractor of that caliber with that low of hours and, and, and the care for it. I mean, that tractor looks like it just came off the assembly line and uh, the rising prices of, of equipment, uh, the strong ag market out there. And again, everything uh, checks the boxes for a really strong sale. And they're, they're bidding on this thing pretty strong right now. Well, Dan, my friend, Sullivan Auctioneers, you guys just set another record here by a mile. The tractor, the 7730, just sold for $148,000. Dan, that's the highest auction price I've ever seen on a 7730 by a ton the pre next previous high was 120,500 bucks six wow. and a half years ago. So, hey, congratulations, 148. Okay, folks, if you love very nice uh, 55 series tractors, we got a beauty for you here. A 1990 John Deere 4455. Dan, this thing's got 6,156 hours on it, power shift, second owner. Nice rig on, on your auction here today. It is, Pete. It's a nice tractor. Come up, come off a farm right over there in Iowa, uh, over here in southeast Iowa. Uh, a nice family farm. The Oberman family is actually consigned mm -hmm. that tractor, and uh, it's uh, just a clean stand-up tractor. Got a nice rack of weights on the front of it. Uh, again, the, the owner's name and phone number is right on the on the listing and the ads. And uh, they were through the lot the other day, and uh, I stopped and talked to Mike Oberman, the son, and. He said, Dan, we've had calls all over the country on that. He said, my phone's mm -hmm. been ringing off the hook. Of course, we have their name and phone numbers on there. And again, people like to hear the story. We've talked about that before, Pete, but uh, it's it's going really strong here this morning. And in, in those 55 series tractors, we've watched a trend on those. Yeah, I know when I was uh, walking the lot um, the day before the sale yesterday, Dan, um, I love the way you guys strategically position the tractors in your extensive line. You have all these late model tractors and combines had a nice little run of tractors from the kind of the 80s, 90s there. Uh, the, yeah. the 4455, it always stands out, doesn't it? It sure does. I mean, again, that's what everybody's looking for. That, that uh, a, a second owner coming right off of the farm, uh, you know, transparent, uh, clean, nice tractor with a, with a good story behind it. Yeah, and again, as we're talking here, Dan, again, the bids just keep flowing in. SullivanAuctioneers.com, folks, they, they get her done. $60,000 sale price on our $44.55. That, that, I mean, almost 6,200 hours, Dan, hit $60,000. That that's, shows you the demand out there. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale.
Well, folks, the used tractor market in November of 2021, just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Good condition used tractors just skyrocketing in value. Now, let me give you a few examples from a few days in a row in the middle of the month. So, on Tuesday, November 16th, online farm auction by Sullivan Auctioneers in Brookston, Indiana, this 2012 John Deere 8310R with 2,150 hours on it sold for $241,000. That's a record high auction price, folks, by $11,000 over the previous record from over eight and a half years ago. Now, that same auction had this 2008 John Deere 8330, 2,742 hours on it, went for $188,000. Second highest auction price ever on an 8330, highest in seven years. Now that uh, actually the same day, November 16th, online farm estate auction out of Rhineland, Missouri, this 2006 Case IH MX275 with 2,485 hours on it, sold for $124,115. That sale was by our friends at Schneider Auctioneers, and that was the highest auction price on an MX275 in nine years. Now the next day, Wednesday, November 17th, on an online farm retirement auction out of Pearly, Minnesota by the Steffes Group, this 2013 Case H Magnum 290, 1,547 hours on it, sold for $167,000. That's a record high by $6,000 over the previous record from nine years ago. Now the day after that, uh, Thursday, November 18th, online farm retirement auction, again by Sullivan Auctioneers, this time in Fairbury, Illinois. This 2012 Case H Magnum 340, 1,752 hours on it, sold for $199,000. Yep, record price. Same sale had this 2014 Case H Magnum 315, 1,377 hours on it, sold for $193,000. Again, record high auction price this time by $9,000. So again, folks, good condition used tractors, just like gold in November of 2021. Hey, welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we have a pair of internationals from my good friend, Danny Anderson in Pine Island, Minnesota. He plans on restoring these and shipping them to Austria. 885 and a, and a 485 are the models of them. There's no serial number plates on them because they're they're experimental, you know, test tractors. These two tractors here are uh, one of one ever built. They're uh, tractors that International had built at the time of the merger with uh, Case. They didn't go forward with these tractors. They would have been released in the fall of 85 with their new lineup. These tractors had been sitting there and Case International donated these tractors to the University of Wisconsin River Falls and they have been there ever since. And these tractors were just sold last October at an auction and uh, a friend of mine, an IH collector from Austria bought these and his name is Herbert Starzinger and he is the owner of these two tractors now and he contacted me last October and wanted to know if I could paint these tractors and, and restore them so I'm gonna hang my hat on these two are gonna be my last two because I've done between four and five hundred tractors. And... Find farm equipment on Machinery Pete's June 21st online auction. No reserve, no buyer fees. Start bidding now at auctions.machinerypeat.com. Well, Dan, our feature item on the show today, a 1969 John Deere 4020. This baby's been restored. It's got the canopy. Holy smokes, what a beautiful rig. Yeah, it's a nice tractor, Greg. There's been a lot of activity the last couple of days. People driving, obviously, through the lot and inspecting it. You know, with, with the lineup out there, a lot of late model equipment. There's a lot of people just drive straight to that 4020. And uh, I we know what the they've same, been doing, Pete. I noticed the same thing, Dan, uh, on the lot there. Uh, you know, all the late model tractors, combines, the big monsters, but people are drawn to those uh, 60s and 70s models, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are. And, and uh, they've just been uh, in increasing in value, it looks like, quite a, a little bit as we go on, especially it looks like the last, you know, year or so, they've just been an unbelievable amount of interest in those 4020s. Yeah, I know on, on my end, Dan, I think uh, I think the average auction price on 4020s this year is actually up 14.5%. 
which is, you know, a pretty big jump when you're talking, uh, you know, 50 plus year old tractor, but gosh, you, you guys have sold a, sold a ton of them. And uh, yeah, the buyer demand just seems like it just keeps going up and up on these 4020s. Yeah, it sure has, Pete. You'd know better than anybody with the, with the figures and, and increases in value. I wouldn't have guessed that much, but I guess you look at this 4020 and the activity on it and uh, the amount of people that's interested in it. And that's probably, probably a pretty accurate figure. Yeah, what, what's been your experience, Dan, with the restored versus original? Now, obviously, people, they go crazy on these 4020s either way, but have you noticed uh, any shift there, or does it just it really depend on the situation? Everyone's a little different, Pete. I'd say that, uh, you know, if you had a really nice 4020 that was original and, 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 and cleaned up and represented itself well and had the right kind of pedigree behind it, I think I'd rather sell that maybe than a restored one. But sometimes if a tractor's in, in rough enough condition and, and it needs a restoration, this one's got a canopy on it and uh, kind of checks all the boxes, con side console model. So uh, I, I think that uh, a restoration probably will help this tractor. Well, Dan, as we've been talking here, the, I see it, the, the, the bidding on this thing just been going crazy. It just wound up at 25.5, but holy smokes, it was like a pinball machine there the last uh, number of minutes here. Wow. Uh, that, that's just where a lot of people kind of wait till the last minute and they get on, they start bidding and we'll have people call and say, Oh my gosh, my item didn't bring very much. And we're like, just hold on, sit back, take, have a cup of coffee and relax. This thing's kind of, but yeah, 25, five, just in, in the last few minutes, it rose that much. Well, folks, I'll just shoot you straight in my 32 years tracking the farm equipment market every day. I've never seen a better time to be a seller of good condition used equipment whether it's low hour or higher hour. The market is just on fire. Of course, the supply chain issue has gummed everything up. Farm equipment dealer lots are thin. Uh, like I say, if you have something to sell, it's you are in the driver's seat. And if you do have something for sale, why not sell it with your old friend Machinery Pete? We've actually got two ways to help you do that. Uh, if you're looking to sell privately, you can just click on the Sell Mine link right on machinerypete.com. Uh, only costs 50 bucks. We can get your equipment in front of mass eyeballs there. A lot of cases, I'm able to even promote it on Facebook and Twitter for you. Uh, we're hearing really great results. People moving equipment very quickly, which makes us happy. Uh, now, the other option is with our new Machine Repeat monthly online auction. Uh, and I tell you, we are seeing some fantastic results here. Uh, we work really hard on this. We expose all the equipment on the auction to 300,000 registered bidders every month. Of course, we also promote it on our, our new Machine Repeat Auction Edition TV show on RFD TV, uh, across Machine Repeat social media, YouTube, Farm Journal Magazine, AgWeb.com, AgriTalk Radio, US Farm Report, uh, Ag Day TV. So we bring tons of eyeballs to your items. And again, the results we're seeing very strong. In fact, on our November 23rd online auction, this 2015 John Deere 7210R with 8,023 hours on it from Southwest Kansas, this thing sold for 75,250 bucks. And that's the highest auction price I've ever seen on any 7210R with over 5,600 hours. And again, this one had over 8,000 hours. So if you got something to sell folks, give us a call toll free 844 727 6374 and our machinery repeat team will talk to you about your equipment and then we connect you with our auction partners around the country to get your items listed on our machinery repeat online auction and our next sale is tuesday june 21st so give us a call again 844-727-6374 and sell it with machinery repeat Well, what was your favorite tractor on the show today, folks? Maybe that restored 1969 John Deere 4020, big money, 25.5. Or how about that pre def pre-tier 4 2008 John Deere 7730 for 148,000 bucks, a record auction price by just a country mile. Me, I'm gonna go with that 4455, kind of partial to those. 1990 model, uh, 6,156 hours, still brought 60,000 bucks. Now, folks, tune in next week to Machinery PTV. We'll have a whole new batch of tractors and a whole new batch of auction prices uh, for you to kick around the coffee shop. See you here next week. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. 
For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com.